Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba for the Japanese weebs out there. Guys, the season debuted last Sunday. Yes. Because we're a week behind. Because we, were, right, we yes. did not record this the, Sunday night. I said the, Sunday, the Sunday before yesterday. Yes. We did not record Ooh. this. So we're a week back. We haven't seen episode two. We've seen episode one of Entertainment District Arc. Right. Right. So, how do you guys feel about the opening episode of the season, technically? I don't know what we're going to get yet. Um, I was going to say, I, I, they kind of touched on a few things, but I'm still I'm still left wondering. And it's weird because it was, you know, a 45-minute episode. I'm still left wondering kind of where they're going to go or, like, what the whole arc is going to be about, which I feel like uh, that's kind of how I w- felt, you know, at the beginning of the season in general or the uh, show in general but i don't know i don't know where they're going i'm, I'm very invested like i, I want to see but at the same time like I, I they're not giving me anything yet well we had to we had to wrap up with aftermath of the movie right right, right. Ren, so goku. Ren, goku, yep. Ren goku down we knew he had to go talk to Ren goku's family yes by the way that was tough yep. i wasn't happy with the father for a nope. while i yep, agree same, but i agree i I was left with a, some resolu- or, yeah, resolution on that one. Uh, the little brother is a fucking darling. I love that. Facts. He's super cute. 100% agree. <laughs> what was it Sanjiro or Sanjiro? Whatever. Uh, uh, Sunjiro? S something. Sunjiro? Sunjiro? I don't something remember. Something like that. Something I didn't like write that, down yeah. his name. D- I just called him Little Dude. <laughs> <laughs> little Dude was great, <laughs> right? Because he was just so nice to Tanjiro and everything. And he was like, thank you, you know what I mean? Oh, you know my brother, all this, yada, yada, yada. And then you find out the little dude is not good at sword wielding, and then you feel (laughs) bad, and you're like, damn. It's like, yeah, my brother always believed in me, even though I wasn't nearly as good as he was. (laughs) I'm just like, why do you have to be so cool, Rengoku? (laughs) (laughs) Little dude's going to become the best pottery master ever, though. Pottery? (laughs) <laughs> Little dude's gonna be Oracle for Tanjiro, yeah, bro. Yeah. He's gonna hook him up with info. Oh, Hell yeah. I like that. Because we find out fucking Tanjiro's a sun breather. That's yeah. his technique, is that, that when he does the pink flames from the first season, it turns out that that is a goddamn sun breather. The origin of the breathing techniques for the Demon Slayers use. So, that's a great question to figure out, like, what's going on with Tanjiro's lineage to where he knows that, you know? Right. Right. Because that the Ren Goku's dad knew instantly as soon as he saw the earrings. He's like, "You're a fucking sun breather. I'll kill you." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, man, that's kind of mean." I was like, "Why is he so ready to fight about this?" The dude's hey, just an asshole. The racism. Yeah, that's for true. It's the racism. <laughs> <laughs> so we get done with that, right? <laughs> and then we get into my favorite bit of the front of the episode. A fucking demon shows up, right? And I'm like, "Whoa." A demon's here to jump Tanjiro? That's fucking crazy. How'd they know he was here? And then I wait, I look, I go, what the fuck? That's not a demon. Oh my god, it's a sword maker. And the sword maker <laughs> starts chasing Tanjiro like, I will fucking kill you. I was sick of making yeah. you some damn sword. Yeah, that was, <laughs> so that was good. pretty funny. <laughs> oh my, I was just like, I love that bit so much. So, so much. Thank goodness. He didn't have to make Inosuke more swords for Inosuke to chip. Oh, my God. By God, oh, that Jesus whole dude. building would have been wiped off the planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's for true, dude. We get more good shipping as well between Tanjiro and the mute girl who doesn't speak, but she's not mute. Uh, Kano, I think her oh, name? Oh, yeah, Kano. Uh, yeah, she, yeah. She's, she's cool. I like her a lot. Uh, you see that all of them care about Tanjiro's and Nitsu and Inosuke and they were watching them as they were healing. Yep. And, and why does that the... matter? Oh. Right? You're like, why does why do these characters matter? Because to could come back at the end of this episode when they return back to the place, a random man is here abducting two of the fucking children. Yeah. He does something else too. But... <laughs> he... What is what else does he do, Eli? I <laughs> don't. No, I, I, <laughs> no, go ahead. You brought it up. You know, he, he just be slapping little girls' asses, you know, and I I didn't like that. He did spank her, which was kind of sus. It, yeah, it was it a was little was bit sus. sus. I can't tell I, how I, old I, that gentleman is. Oh, dude, he's, he's old. Definitely <laughs> way older than them. <laughs> yes. 
He's at least in his mid twenties. Yeah, at least. At least. Uh, yeah. There's actually <laughs> there's actually some big uproar about that character. I guess. What? I don't know if this is real or not. I just saw it on Instagram. Uh, I guess we'll get talk about it when we get there because it hasn't shown in the actual anime yet. But it just I, that motherfucker is a beast. Let's just put it like that. Uh, <laughs> or are they like saying in a, he's too in a good OP. Way? That it's. <sighs> I don't, if you want me to tell you, I'll tell you, but supposedly, I don't know if you guys watched the ending, like the outro song that they played, because that outro song is actually the intro song this season. Right. Uh, right. With the fireworks and stuff going off. Yeah. And it was them, that, there's a pic, there's a scene where he's got three chicks behind him. Yes. Allegedly, yes. those are all his wives. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My man. <laughs> That's what I said, <laughs> but people are people are bad about that. I, maybe I don't. It's Instagram. It could be fake, but he shows up kidnapping them. Tanjiro's Kano. First off, she was freaking out. Like mm-hmm. Kano was actually super scared that like to do anything in that situation, which I was like, why is she scared? And then you know we find out he's a Hashira, so like you're not supposed okay. to tell them anything. So real quick about that, because. Unless I completely missed it, the name of the episode was the Sound Hashira. Yeah, so I guess he I'm is guessing the he's the Sound yeah, Hashira. But that's, did that's they? What I got. I'm not the only they one. Ex- who, they didn't say anything about it, right? They didn't no. explicitly say he is the Sound Hashira. They said he is a Hashira. Okay, right? yes. okay. And that's I'm assuming it's titled that because he's the Sound Hashira. You know, that's what yes. I was. Do thinking? we know what that means? Not yet. <laughs> but we know Ren Goku was the Flame Hashira. When they had that whole... Ha- he, I don't think he was at the Hashira meeting. I, he wasn't. One. That's the I, I don't thing. think so. I've never seen him. Aren't there That's only the part 12 that Hashira? He might, he might already replace from Goku, maybe, then. I, I uh, don't know, man. I guess it's a possibility, because, I mean, the the whole first episode, I think they said, took, like, four months, or like at least three months. Well, yeah, most of the time was the training montage. By the way, they're beefcakes now. Holy dude, shit. Yeah, no shit. Kidding, yeah, they are. Dude. Tajiro was looking crazy yoked. Well, dude. Zenitsu they were... had his shirt off too. I was like, I can't believe he's willing Zenitsu to do this. was yoked too. I'm like, my God, dude, how are you scared of anyone? Dude's trying to win over uh, Nezuko, bro. What do you expect? <laughs> bro, he's running the whole time. Back Nezuko, just... Nezuko, Nezuko, Nezuko. <laughs> Man, they really they really cut to the back and you see them all shooting PEDs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing, stabbing each other with needles. Oh my god! Gotta get stronger one way they're, or another. They're all on EPO. <laughs> they, yeah, man. That's why they can breathe for so well. <laughs> shout, shout out to the never back down montage. Oh my god! Rocky Mont is just classic montage. I'm just man. I can't lie to you. That sound Hashira, if that's what he is, he came off real sharky this episode. Mm. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I'm, I'm excited to see what he does, bro. He was telling these dudes, like, shut the fuck up. What you going to do to me, huh? And Tanjiro was like, I'll headbutt you. And he dodged the headbutt. He's like, don't you dare headbutt me, you little bastard. <laughs> hey, but one of my other favorite parts of this episode, you get, like, Tanjiro uh, went to, like, jump at him or whatever, and then he jumps back when he's on top of the the, the doorway or whatever. And it's like, what's he doing? And then it kind of freeze frames on Zenitsu and Inosuke both coming at him at the same time, and then they just redirect. I was like, that shit was dope. Man. And so they basically cut a deal. So basically, he needed he needed women or like females or something for I have something. Did you guys catch what he said? I forgot. Already. No, he said it was he for just... some sort of mission. Right. Yeah, that's, that's all he said. But I, that's why I'm not sure why he settled for three males. I but... think he knows that Nezuko's in that box. Oh, that's a, that's a, see, I can see that. Yeah, because Is that part of his this... sound stuff. Uh He's like a bat. He just like makes noises and it like bounces off people. Sonar. <laughs> echo location. Sonar, yeah, thank you. Yeah. No, it's echo location, it, yeah, it, it you is, bitch. Yeah, but it's okay. Sonar is a type of it. No, God yeah. Damn it. Uh, I th- I think at this point the legend of Tanjiro has to go pretty far, right? Like you can't not know the Hashiras can't not know about him because that was like the whole point of the Hashira. I mean, at the end of season one, was like we're gonna kill this demon, and the, he's like no. And then the head dude was like, the blind dude was like, no. And they're like, fuck. So maybe he knew. So he knew like, oh, you're Tanjiro. Bring the box girl with me. Now we have a girl. Mm. Maybe. Well, because other yeah. than that. Didn't, didn't big head dude, the blind dude, say that she's technically part of the Demon Slayer core? Uh, 
she's not in the she's not a member but she said yeah you, she can help you <laughs> like she's not ranked like Zenitsu and them are or okay. anything like that she won't put her on a roster list gotcha because <laughs> she didn't make the 53 still, man roster cut. they're still the lowest rank team. aren't they yes I feel like they'll make at least a small deal out of them getting promoted at any point they'll, they'll make the G League man they were in the Drew League they'll make the G League <laughs> If it's typical anime, they won't they won't get a promotion at all. Like the series will end and they'll just jump from bottom to like Hashira tier. <laughs> so be ready for that, I guess. Because awesome. that's how anime works. Like the in Naruto, is awesome. Yeah, Naruto and them were the worst ninjas, but they were the strongest by far. It's so funny. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm. Mean, I like that he was like he likes Tanjiro. He literally said like, "I like the cut of your jib, kid." <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's like, I like that you challenged me without hesitation. Yeah, I'll take you with us. Let's go to this place. So, I don't know what's going to happen next week. It is called the Entertainment District Arc. Lots yes. of fireworks, lots of women. So, it's not the Red Light District. Oh, my God. Or is. But, that's what I was going to say. We're in the but Red Light might be District. Because Sorry. Entertainment District might just be like code name. You know? Right, <laughs> yeah. Fan. Gonna get right, so, um, no, you're fucking cut from that. Like, just don't speak for us episode. <laughs> that's why, uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say that's why. I, I don't know. We we get the ending like it gives us some sort of like, oh, this is what's happening. But I, based on the title of the arc, like the entertainment district, we just haven't got anything yet from that. Um, I don't expect them to get there that fast, especially no. concluding the movie. But next episode, I'm assuming we're starting there, like, instantly. Oh. I could see it, yeah. I'm just saying, there was, I mean, in a 45-minute episode, there was just nothing to, I don't know, um, hint at what that means, I guess. So, that's why I'm interested, and I'm seeing, I'm I'm here to see where it goes. There is one other important thing that we haven't talked about yet, Uh, and that was Upper 3 going to visit the big boss man who is now inside of a child. All right. No, he can change his form. He can just change his form. Yeah, because he's appeared as a man, he's appeared as a woman, now he's appeared as a child. Okay. I'm I'm going with he can change form at this point. I think that's probably true, yeah. Okay. Just, Especially with how busted he is, where he can blow up their blood from like remote distances and yeah. shit. Yeah. He's got to be some kind of shark like that. Yeah, they're like, yeah, oh, what a good right. kid. I'm like, yikers. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good kid, maybe. Yeah, so yeah. that was, I mean, he was like, oh, I killed a Hashira, and the dude was like, Fuck that. That don't mean shit. And, uh... Didn't he say, why'd you let the kid get away? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, why'd you let that fucker get... I think that dude's scared of Tanjiro just because he's a sun breather. I think we're gonna figure find out that that was not an accident, that Tanjiro's family was killed like that. Mm, I think they purposely were trying to... Well, yeah. Because his dad was weak at that point, because he was sick. Yes. So they went and... They just happened to get them when Tanjiro, the only able-bodied male, was gone. No, yeah. I, uh... I, I... Kind of, I don't know. I feel like there's some sort of prophecy type of thing. I don't, I'm not an actual prophecy, but there's yeah, like a. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's like a you know Matrix situation. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. You guys haven't seen the Matrix where. Nope. Uh, the story, you know, is like, oh, this guy's you know supposed the to. One. Yeah, exactly. He's the chosen one. He's supposed to overtake us, so we're gonna kill him before he realizes that and before he comes to his uh his potential. And yeah, so I think that's what they're trying to up. do. Yeah. That's that's what I got from it the first season, honestly. But we'll see. We'll see if that's true or not. That makes a lot. I, of I'm sense. kind of brain dead, so I didn't go there instantly. But now I'm there. Now that you guys mentioned that, I'm I'm also there, and I'm the wheels are spinning a lot more now, <laughs> and not just in place either. I think so, uh, I think they're expecting Nezuko to finish him off for him, ooh. but uh, that obviously did not happen. True. He's, yeah, if Giyu didn't show up, right? Mm-hmm. He might have died trying to save Nezuko initially. Exactly. Uh, most important question, the opening. How'd you guys feel about the op- new opening song? Oh, I thought I mean, I mean, thought it was good. I, I don't like it as much as the next one, or the last the one, last but one, it yeah. still has time to grow on me, so. I, I That's exactly how I feel about it. Like, I didn't hate it or anything, but I just, I'm going to need some more time with it. It didn't instantly yeah, yeah. hit like the last one did. To be fair, that last one's an all-timer. Like, oh, yeah. as someone who's watched a bunch of anime, that Demon Slayer opening one, all-timer. This yes. one, I like, I, I've i listened to it since it came out, like, a couple times, and I had the reaction you guys had when it first came out. I was like, it's kind of lame, 
because especially with the last one was heavy singing, yes. like heavy vocals, mm-hmm. and amazing, ugh, amazing. Versus this one, just kind of more like subdued. I was like, eh, it's kind of lame. And I listened to it more. I was like, no, I like this. This is good. So I think once with more, you guys will like it more. And I'll also like it even more than I do now at this point. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. So, yeah, man. We got our predictions out for next episode. We're excited to see where the ventures of Tanjiro and company go. Well, actually, we'll see it pretty soon. You guys won't hear about it till next week, though. <laughs> um, yeah. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.